Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. I hope you're all doing great today. I hope everybody is having a beautiful, beautiful day. Welcome to Great Days. I'm having a beautiful day myself. Thank you for asking. I actually had a great breakfast. I had some plantain bananas. I fried them up. They're amazing. I got a meditation in. And I even got some yoga in. I could do a little bit better when stretching out my spine. But other than that, it's a great day. Okay. Today, I'm going to continue on getting into knowledge the canonical raising of consciousness and the global shift in vibration okay and I'm going to do that by talking about the Merkaba or the light body the Merkaba if you don't know is our innate body of light which is geometrically a six-sided tetrahedron counter-rotating and this counter-rotation when sped up or even realized is used for traveling through light and exploring ethereal substance which brings in information from anywhere in the cosmos or anywhere on earth or any other dimension really and this is the literal way to travel the universe innately when you dream at night you are traveling the universe which is why you get such weird dreams that you can't even understand completely or you can't explain completely because you're actually traveling via your light body to other realms or other regions of the cosmos and you're made to believe that it's really just a dream whatever dream is supposed to mean actually dream is like stream it's a streaming of information sensually or perceptive uh, perceptually and it's coming from like I said any region in the cosmos how do you get there Where's the mediation is what I'm trying to tell you without going without bringing in that unconsciousness because as of now most most people sorry are unconscious of the traveling that they go through to get to these end point destinations which most of the time occur occur in dreams if you can see the telekinesis you're shifting into a higher vibration. I'm moving the camera with my gestures, with my gestures, okay? It's actual telekinesis. I'm developing it more and more. But anyway, the Merkaba, okay, is what we're getting into. The Merkaba is our innate light body and it's literally superimposing the flower of life which is the pattern of circles which is what I have on my YouTube banner if you haven't seen it the rainbow banner is the flower of life pattern and it's the most basic fundamental pattern of light geometry that the universe is basically made up of that pattern makes up the entire universe basically and 
within that pattern is found the Merkaba, which is our light body, which is in two dimension. It's the Star of David, or it's the symbol for the Anahata Chakra, which is the heart chakra, or it's the um, it's a six sided tetrahedron basically it's two triangles overlapping each other one is facing downward and one is facing upwards and in three dimension it's two pyramids basically overlapping or superimposing each other and counter rotating meaning the top pyramid of the six sided tetrahedron is rotating one way and the bottom pyramid in the tetrahedron is rotating another way and this is the third dimensional aspect of the Merkaba or the light body's geometry which like I said the flower of life or the Merkaba which is the geometry that I just explained is superimposing the flower of life basically the Merkaba or the light body's geometry is found within the flower of life pattern which is my YouTube banner if you haven't seen the banner it's the rainbow one and it's literally the most necessary or fundamental pattern of all of the universe of all of life to make up what we know as the void it's a whole another dimension okay but that's a whole different video anyway the Merkaba like I said is our innate geometry meaning every human being every human being has the geometry of the Merkaba which is the geometry of the two pyramids superimposing each other and counter rotating and when they counter rotate they create a field or an aura field which looks like a a galactic field like the Milky Way has the spiraling outward the spiral arms when the geometry of the light body is in counter rotation it creates the exact same energy field a spiraling energy field or an o or a flat disc shaped and it literally makes its way around your body and this is the fractal this is the fractal pattern from the gal uh, galaxies to the light body because a light bo the light body is actually just a star or a starship or a singularity or even a ringularity and like I said, it's in, it's in everyone. It's our innate inheritance, our innate geometrical inheritance. It's like our energy field, our aura is built off of geometry. And in the center of this geometry is the light body, the Merkaba. And it's actually a starship or a light body which is used like I said to travel the cosmos to pull in information from any region in the cosmos or even anywhere on earth and you call this intuition when you are intuitively picking up on things like you're explaining things and you don't even know how it's you traveling via your light body to pick up on information to then physically communicate it out but the problem is the reason we don't know about the light body is because we have fallen asleep we have fallen in consciousness meaning we have went unconsciousness throughout the eons or the millen or the millennia and basically we need to bring back consciousness and when we do this we can understand exactly who we are again which are spiritual beings energy energetical beings having a human experience a physical experience 
We are truly eternal in life. And this body that I am inhabiting right now, Andrew, is truly just a temporary experience when I reach the end point of this body we say we shed the body because our energy or our energy field our aura our consciousness within this aura continues on forever into higher and higher levels it's reincarnation and this is the truth of death even it's an illusion you are truly a energetical being a spiritual being and the light body is the geometry or the Merkaba is the light body which is the ge geometry that your physical body is basically built from so it's like in our it's like our innate blueprint but it's not even a it's not even a blueprint it's more of a a uh, body of light literally it's a body of light it's made up of geometry like I said and it is primarily used for traveling in other dimensions higher dimensions specifically if your light body is stagnant if it's in standstill if it's literally just the pyramids um, overlapping and it's not in counter rotation it means that your spiritual nature has been decreased or you don't utilize your light body and this means that you probably are stuck in the physical experience and you don't tune into the infinities of the universe as much as you could be when it is in counter rotation because when it is in counter rotation and it's in fluctuation then it's connecting with all of the environment's geometry and pulling in different elements and different shapes like a galaxy would like a galaxy is in uh, rotation it is in orbit it is in um, revolution and it's pulling in all of the information from the surrounding vastness of space it's the exact same thing with the light body because it actually is fractal in nature and all of that information that the light body pulls in when it's in counter rotation or fluctuation is you basically being able to travel through the universe via inward inward space inner space there's outer space and there's inner space there is deep space and there is shallow space okay like a beach a beach has the the um, the coral beds right and it's shallow but once you go out more the ocean gets a lot deeper and there's trenches and there's everything it's the exact same with sp it's the exact same with space there is realms of space where there is coral reefs or shallowness or different terrains of space that we don't even conceptually realize yet in science and then there is deep space which is like the deep oceans there's trenches there is a lot of other things you know and that's fractal in nature so the light body, like I said, is our innate geometry, literally our body of light, and it's called the Merkaba. If you want to do research of your own to expand your consciousness a little bit more on this and start utilizing the Merkaba to bring in a higher vibration and dimensionality and even tune into the universe for traveling of your own then do some research trust me it will benefit you because you are literally a Merkaba you literally are a light body you have a light body like I am a physical body I also have a light body 
okay so do some research on the Merkaba and understand it for yourself in your own way get it rotating again because like I said if it's stagnant then you're probably more trapped to the physical body and the whole point is to get it counter rotating again which we can do with a meditation called the Merkaba meditation which I will teach one day for now I am still researching and for now I am also still learning myself so I will teach the Merkaba meditation one day it's super super simple I do it every single day but I'm doing the research and I'm conducting my own understanding of how to utilize the Merkaba and travel cosmically once again in Atlantis the Atlantean civil uh, civilization used to utilize the Merkaba highly and they used to all be in a higher vibration they used to be uh, in the hive mind more meaning they were all tuned into one larger body being in being in alignment with itself like when you see a group of birds flying it seems that they're all on the same mind length uh, the same wavelength they're all on the same wavelength this is the hive mind and this is what the people in Atlantis used to be tuned into and they also all utilize their Merkaba as well their light body to travel and get information so they could bring in more of a hiring of their consciousness level but yeah that's basically uh, all that I have to tell you about the Merkaba for now, the light body. Do some research on it if you want to know more. And it's going to come big in the coming years. So, yeah, I just want you to raise your vibration for me. And I just want you to be in a little, more, a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more knowledge of the actualities of life. It's all geometry. It's literally the geometry of your light body. Okay. And it's cosmically fractal as well. Meaning all of the patterns you find within your light body are found within the cosmos. The light body's counter rotation of the, the uh, energy field of the energy, uh, the energy field of the Merkaba's counter rotation is literally identical to a galactic disc shape so that's how it's fractal so you are literally a mini cosmos you're a microcosm to the macrocosm you're a mini cosmos to the larger cosmos you're literally a environment your little bot your little universe basically to in a larger universe I am a cell in a body okay we're all human cells in a larger body and this is what fractal is basically so I thank you for tuning in I hope you understand what Merkaba is a little bit more or what our light body is all about subscribe click upon this video generates the static electricity from your fingertips the ethereal body needs to be strengthened and this is my job so have a great day i love you guys be safe